Opportunity. It's something you can never take for granted. At times, it can seem that they are endless, and others like you may never get another. To capitalize on your opportunities, you need to be prepared. It's easy to get lazy when opportunities are few and far between, but this is where it's even more important to do all the little things right. Or, your opportunity might just swing away. We are back from camping and head out to some more local waters to try and keep the street going. The water is getting warm and we suspect the pike are likely to be moving out of the shallows in search of more comfortable water. But our first stop is still going to be in the skinny water. Warm water typically means more active fish and the ability to use faster moving bait, but with the bluebird sky conditions, the pike may be holding tight to cover and need a more subtle approach. Holy fuck! <laughs> This is a big old pipe. You want me to chase her down or what? You know they're big when they're going no water. You're hooked around the other one too. You want to pinch down there? Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it definitely works. After chasing some other similar sized fish around the shallows, we decide to leave with plans to return once their mood may have changed. Is that a pike in there? Big pike. Big, big man. Ooh. Mm. That thing is massive. That thing is like wide. This fish doesn't seem to be interested either, so we decide to make a move to a different area to see if we can get some different behaviors. Get him on. Spoon. It's coming for me. The moment, the moment. Oh. It's coming, it's coming. I know it, I know it. It's coming for me. I'm gonna make it happen. Yeah, I'm gonna make it happen.
help you out. Never held you down. The lazy way of the fish in the first spot seems to have infected the whole bay, and we aren't able to find many more active fish. So we decide to return to the big fish from earlier to work them some more. When we return, we immediately spot some big fish sitting on bottom. After spooking one a few times, it stays suspended rather than dropping back down to bottom. I drop the spoon in front of it and pop it a few times. I'm on. It's heavy. There she goes. Another fish easily over the 40 inch mark, only inches from the net, gone. After grinding all day for one big bite, I made the mistake of trying to rush the fish into the net. To make matters worse, I didn't open the bale and thumb the line like I normally would when using lighter gear, so when it made its run and the drag didn't engage, the line just snapped. Two mental mistakes on one fish and one big lost opportunity. Following the heartbreak of losing a giant boat side, we had an on the water lesson to do with a group that won our day on the water donation in the charity raft. The fish were not shallow anymore and we struggled for a while to locate fish, searching the shallows and deeper water nearby before finally zeroing in on where they had moved to. Caught a handful of decent fish, lost one high 30 to 40 inch and boated the 35 inch big fish of the day to round out the trip. Some first hand experience of the systems we use to locate and catch fish as well as how to apply them on the water. To learn these systems for yourself, check out the downloadable courses page on www.newwayfishingacademy.com. After the day we had with the charter, we know if the fish are out of the shallows near deeper water. This time of year allows the start of one of our favorite bites, swim baits. As I take my rod out, I hear a crack. Oh no, the tip is broken, and there goes my plan for a swim bait, jerk bait, one two punch. We fish a few spots closer to summer areas and realize the fish haven't moved this far yet. I switch to a bucktail to start covering water fast as we move back towards the spring base in the hope to get some fish moving. And boy, does it. After seeing fish and knowing they're in the area, switching back to a slower mini Medusa gets them to commit. Throughout the day, we end up seeing five fish in completely different spots that all would have been over 40 inch. Each fish followed once and then disappeared forever. It was a strange event. Even during the major, they didn't want to bite anything we threw at them. Maybe it was all the smoke in the air, or maybe we just weren't prepared for the opportunity that presented.